This is Max at the German Shepherd Rescue in Burbank, California. Um, he's a male. Uh, May 27th, 2014. He's about five, maybe six months old. Um, here I wanted to show some of his play drive and uh, also show some treat training. Max is very very sweet. Um, he's actually a pretty submissive uh, male as of right now too. Um, he is a little tired here. We had just went for a walk and I wanted to see what kind of toys he was interested in. Uh, you saw him earlier. Um, he was in tug of war. He really loves toys and he was so silly rolling around in these beds. Um, he was just adorable. Um, but he really can't decide if he likes treats better or toys or just being loved on. I mean, he's just so excited to, to be in here. <laughs> I wanted to show um, everybody this side of him. Now, I want to point something out that it seems like every time I touch him, he just lays down. And I, I couldn't figure out why he was doing that. But then I remembered that we had been working on down with him. And, uh, and then also just, uh, working on, you know, pushing him around and playing with him and rubbing his belly. So he thinks that every time I touch him, he's going to lay down and either get a treat or a belly rub, which is why he just wants to stay here. <laughs> and you'll see earlier or later, you'll see, um, a little bit more what I mean by that. Um, so I am a few times I am testing his, uh, just kind of his, his drive. Um, here I have a treat and he's following it really nicely. And I'm just working with him on sit and down. Um, but like I said before, he didn't know if he wanted to play or get a treat. So this is a dog that you wouldn't necessarily, you know, just use treats to train with. I think he'd be just as excited, you know, to, uh, to be trained with a squeaky ball. Um, but he's very eager, eager to learn. I will say, you see he's getting distracted here, and this is where we, we work on the down. Now this is where I touch him right here. See he lays down right away without me even doing anything. <laughs> that's, that's, what I, that's what I meant by earlier. He thinks he'll get a treat or a belly rub every time we touch him. It's because we've been doing that with him. I will say that um, he is very submissive. and. <laughs> He does need some confidence in some situations. He's great with people, but sometimes he sees dogs or hears uh, semis, like I was working with him with semi trucks with treats today, just because he gets a little nervous. And so we were, we were really working on building his confidence. Um, but he's got such a great submissive temperament, um, and we just absolutely adore him. <laughs> Now, right here, when I start to play with him, I'm actually going to really challenge him with some body blocking after I've gotten him all riled up. And uh, he surprisingly backs away very quickly. And it just goes to show, you know, that, uh, that the structure needed to, to work with him isn't even that much. Just his natural temperament is great. So you can see a little bit of, little bit of blocking. Three times, really minor, he immediately backs away. I let him have it. Now I do it again just to see if he learned it all or if he typical, typically like a puppy goes right back to it again and watch. This was so great. I squeak it. This is really mean, by the way. I'm baiting him. <laughs> Look at that. One time, and he lays his head down. He is just a super submissive, sweet puppy. He'd be such a great addition to any type of home situation. Um, he's just got a really great temperament. But like I said, he'll need some, some uh, confidence building. So if you want to see Max, check him out at the German Shepherd Rescue. Uh, go online, fill out an application, and bring the family. Come and see him on the weekends.